So we've been having some problems with the light in our shower, and there's actually two lights in the shower, one that's connected to an exhaust fan, and that works just fine. And then the other one that's like over the shower area, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Hopefully it's not too dark, but um, that light, it kind of comes on and off. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, this light, and I know it's really dark in here, um, this light doesn't come on all the time, and both of the lights are controlled by one switch. So let me turn this on. You can see this light came on, with the exhaust fan and this one did not even though they're controlled by the same switch so normally what i would do is i would troubleshoot the switch because i would think that it would be an issue inside of the switch itself like a loose connection or something like that but because this same light switch controls both it's probably not here it's probably going to be in the light fixture and so i'm going to go ahead and open that up and see what we can find out i went and grabbed some more lights because it's really dark in here hopefully this will help you guys see this a little bit better just to eliminate the possibility that this is just a bad bulb or a loose bulb. We're gonna try that first before we shut off the power. So let me take this fixture down here. Now look at that, came back on. And it's flashing. All right. definitely something in this fixture. So we know that now. Let's squeeze this to get this out here. And there we go. Let's make sure it's not the bulb. The bulb is tight, I think. Let's go ahead and check this. And if you can see if we just move this around, Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out this bulb and just see if this is the problem. And it seems to be okay. Since this is in a wet area and since we've had some problems with this kind of on and off, I'm gonna make sure that there aren't any other issues here. And especially if you have this issue at your house, I wanna go through some of the troubleshooting steps that you can go through as well if your issue isn't as simple as this one. So you might have some issues with the contacts inside of the socket, especially if you have it in a wet area like it is in this shower. Uh, you look for any signs of corrosion or anything like that that might be built up that could be uh, providing a poor connection to the light bulb. If it is, then you'll either want to swap out the socket with a new one or you want to try and clean it. I'd probably recommend just swapping it out with a different one if it looks like there's some green corrosion or some like um, issues with the socket itself just to eliminate any problems going forward. Uh, it can also be a loose wire connection as well. So if you have that problem, especially in the socket, that's gonna be another reason why you would switch out the socket for another one. Now, if your problem isn't here, the problem is gonna most likely be with the light switch. So let me go give you some troubleshooting tips on that. So with the light switch, you wanna make sure your connections are tight. So here's an example of a side wire. Um, there's a hook that goes around this terminal screw and it's tightened down. Sometimes those can loosen up, although it's not as likely to happen uh, as it is if you have a back wire situation. So at the bottom here, you can see there's a wire that goes into this bottom hole. And all this is, is it's held in by a little clip inside of the light switch or inside of the receptacle if it's, a, if it's an outlet. And basically with those, they can wear out over time, they can loosen up. So if you have an intermittent light, if it's working sometimes and it's not working all the time, I would suspect that if it's in a light switch, it's gonna be at this point. Um, but you should also make sure all the connections are tight, even if it's not back wired, even if it's just side wired, just to make sure everything's fine there. Um, the other thing it could be, is it could be uh, in the wire nut itself. So if you have a connection inside of the junction box and you've got a wire nut or different wire nuts, you need to make sure everything is tight in here. Sometimes uh, these can loosen up or it might not be a solid connection inside of this wire nut. So you wanna make sure everything's tight just by pulling on the wires, making sure uh, that connection is solid there. And last but not least, if it's neither of those problems, it could actually be the light switch itself. So sometimes these go bad as well. So if everything looks fine with the wiring side and you still can't figure out what the issue is, try replacing the light switch and that might fix it. So instead of replacing the bulb with another bulb, I've actually got another solution. This is an LED light fixture that replaces a light bulb and it has the springs and everything else on it that you would normally see on the covers for a recessed light. So instead of putting this bulb back or a different bulb back and then having to put this cover back, all I have to do is screw this into where the light bulb screws in and then just put this fixture up inside of it. So this should be a nice upgrade, especially since this is in a damp area. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this 
connection here. We're going to screw this into the socket and then we can put everything else in place. Now, since this still has a reflector on it, we need to get that off first. So I'm just going to squeeze these clips together and remove that. I'm going to take the socket and screw it in. Okay. Next, I'm going to take the light fixture and I'm going to compress the springs and get those up inside of the recessed light and just hang them in place for now. Okay, and I'm going to take my connector, plug it in, get everything back up inside the ceiling here, and I'm going to push this in place. And we'll try it and see what happens. Woohoo, it works! Thankfully, in our case, the solution was a lot simpler than it could have been. So this is always a good reminder to start with the basics first and then work your way towards more advanced troubleshooting techniques and processes if you can't solve it quickly and easily. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.